Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm taking a, another quick look here at a neat product and I'll show you what I have going on here. Put this light down. Okay, so this is the product we're taking a look at here. It's an LED rechargeable keychain light, but it has some really surprising and interesting features I want to show you. And these are to compare the light. So I have, you know, a, a, one of the aluminum body flashlights that I normally keep in a, my med kit. I have one of the Ozark Trail, you know, pull out lanterns. Oh, that one's dead. Maybe we won't be using that, but that's more of a lantern anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then I got what I use as a headlamp when I'm out there. And we're going to take these outside and we're going to see if we can notice a difference now that it's dark outside. Hey guys, I know you probably can't see me too well. We're out here in the dark, um, but I figure it's a great time to test these lights. So, what I'm gonna do is I have this, this lantern behind me, and that's all the light that you see right now. And I'm gonna start with that little defiant aluminum body flashlight, just to give you a kind of a comparison. Okay. So that's the aluminum body flashlight. Now this is my headlamp that I usually take out with me. It's got a much wider beam to it, if that's showing up well on camera, than the LED or aluminum uh, flashlight. And then next is this keychain. Look at that. Yes, this is the keychain. I am not messing with you. <laughs> this is the keychain light. Tell me that thing is not, I mean, look at the field of view that you get from that. That thing is amazingly strong and it's got different modes as well. So that's like the brightest, I believe. There, okay, so there's a dimmer mode. And now this is, it's like a, more of like a pinkish, almost like an incandescent style light. Um, it's weird, it's got more of a reddish, it's got more red in the hue. Um, I guess an even dimmer setting. And then a red light. And then it has flasher mode, strobe mode, in red. And that, I believe, is the last mode. It's, uh, this thing is pretty neat. I'm going to talk more about it inside, but there's one thing I got to show you first. And this I thought was pretty neat. Because there's a lot of keychains, you know, like uh, I have one that's a, a ferro, a ferro rod. But not everybody knows how to even use a ferro. Oh, I just noticed too, this is magnetic. I didn't notice that before. Um, but when I flip this open, like that, and I hold this button down, Not that I endure smoking, but you can light a cigarette with it. How cool is that? Now, if you were to take a little bundle of pine needles, get that red hot, touch the base of the, the little bundle of pine needles together, throw it in a tinder bundle, you got a fire. And after all that, I think, still full battery life. Man, that thing is bright. You definitely do not want to point this in your eyes when you're turning it on. I did. I made that mistake when I took it out of the box, and I was seeing uh, 
great circles for about 15 minutes. So yeah, final thoughts on this and also a couple features I did not show. If you open this back up where the cigarette lighter is, there's a couple screwdriver tips in there. They're a little tricky to get out here, hang on. Okay, so when you fold it down, you just kind of pop it out like that. And it fits right in the top here. So now you got a flat head, a small flat head and a small Phillips screwdriver if you need one. Nicely stowed. I like the fact that it's magnetic. I think I'm going to use this um, in my med kit now. Because I had a nice small lightweight um, pen light with a clip. Actually here I have it. I had a couple of these and I was using one of those in my med kit and I like them because they have this this little clip where you could clip it onto the visor of the hat and actually turn it into like a headlamp or you could clip it onto something to where if you need both your hands to administer to first aid to someone you could have your hands free in a very small bright package but they both stopped working on me within a couple weeks so they didn't get a very great review. <laughs> um, this, on the other hand, I could hang it on something with the carabiner. Right? Or I could magnify, magnet it to something. And the magnet's strong enough, it holds its weight fairly, you know, it holds its weight well enough. It's actually quite light, it doesn't weigh very much, even though it's got that solid metal body. Um, and that hidden blade, if I needed to cut, you know, medical tape or gauze or something, for an example. You can see that hidden blade in there. Also great for cutting cordage. Easier on to see on a white background. But yeah, I am uh, I'm pretty happy with this item. And it's, uh, it's, it's initially anyway, it's getting a good review. And just like all my reviews... As usual, I will use it for a time before I finalize and give a final opinion on it. But initial thoughts, definitely two thumbs up on that one. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot about one of the other nice features about this. What you have right here is a sharp whistle. It's definitely loud. <laughs> it's a pretty good whistle. Very sharp, very shrill. Easy to get somebody's attention with that from a distance. So not only can you signal by light, but you can also signal by sound, which to me is important. 